Jennifer Lopez, aka JLo, has come a long way from growing up in the Bronx. She's had a successful career for nearly 30 years now, both singing and acting, as well as plenty of business ventures. All of this and more has amassed her an estimated net worth of $400 million. With that kind of money, it's clear that JLo lives a life of luxury where no expense needs to be spared. Between the extremely high priced real estate she owns all over the US, the jewelry worth multi millions, and even insuring certain body parts, it's interesting to see where JLo invests her cash. In this video, we'll show you the 10 most insane ways Jennifer Lopez spends her fortune. At the time of this recording, Jennifer Lopez is 50 years old, which is hard to believe the woman looks amazing. Like I said, she's had a long running and successful career as a singer and actress, and is also a dancer, producer, Producer, businesswoman, and more. Not to mention, she's a mother of two. She's regarded as the most influential Latin performer in the US, selling an estimated 80 million records worldwide, and has been given plenty of other awards and honors over the years. JLo's sources of revenue are countless. There are all her album sales, box office films, and she was even a judge for five seasons on American Idol, with a salary of 20 million by only the second season. It's also reported she made 24 million from YouTube and has a ton of endorsements from L'Oreal to Gucci, earning her about 58 million. Way back in 1998, Jennifer launched her own clothing line, swimwear, fragrances, and makeup, and by 2004, her brand made about 300 million in revenue. With all of these successful ventures and more, JLo has a yearly salary of about 40 million. Not to mention her man since 2017 is Alex Rodriguez and combined they have an even bigger bank account. Did you see the ring he proposed to her with? Well if you didn't, not to worry cause it might just be on this list. What's going on guys, it's Kara and today I'm bringing you a list of the top 10 insane ways that Jennifer Lopez spends her 400 million dollars. With that kind of net worth, you know she spoils herself from time to time. And it's not just mansions and cars on the list, some of the things JLo invests her money in might really shock you. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. If you guys like this idea and want to see some more lists, let me know which celebs I should cover in the comments down below. We do other vids on this channel like house tours and we've done one on both JLo and her girl Shakira and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys and you can see what I'm up to. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> So starting with number 10, the first way JLo spends her 400 million is on her car collection. Her man A-Rod gifted her a red Porsche 911 Carrera GTS convertible for her 50th birthday last year that's estimated at 140 k Not to mention she said that prior to this she's never driven a car. If that's true, she still has purchased several, both by herself and with A-Rod. In Jenny from the Block's car collection, she has a BMW 3 Series, a customized Jeep Wrangler we've seen on A-Rod's Instagram, an Aston Martin worth around $150,000, a Rolls Royce Ghost for $300,000, and a Maybach 57S, which may have cost up to $500K. J-Lo also bought A-Rod a vintage Ford Bronco for his birthday last year that apparently cost $200,000. Honestly, that is my dream car. I'm so jealous of that. Next up, the number 9 way JLo spends her cash is on body insurance. Can anyone guess which part of her is insured? I'm sure you all know anyways. It's reported that Jennifer had her famous booty insured for $27 million and apparently that deal also covers her legs. Some sources said it was more like $300 million, but that wasn't confirmed. Although JLo never admitted to her $27 million booty insurance, it's not hard to believe. Many celebrities insure body parts including Julia Roberts and her smile, Bruce Springsteen and his vocal cords, and my girl Holly Madison even insured her boobs. Now for number 8 on our list, JLo's super expensive facials. It's no doubt that JLo looks amazing for her age. We even did a before and after video on this channel about her and how she stays looking so young, if you want to check that out. But one thing I didn't mention in her anti-aging routine has got to be her expensive skincare secret. Once a week, the singer spends $1200 on a human placenta facial mask. That's $4800 per month. Specialists claim that the placenta is full of vitamins and powerful rejuvenates since it helps skin regeneration. JLo gets her fancy mask applied on her face, earlobes, and eyelids, and it stimulates the production of collagen and elastin. If that's a secret to staying fresh faced and young, I better find some alternatives because I don't think I'll be able to swing $1200 a week. The number 7 way that JLo spends her millions isn't that insane, but it is something she buys in bulk. Her fave luxury candle. 
Apparently the star likes having her home smell good and with the size of her mansions I guess she needs enough of these candles to go around. Jennifer loves Lalabo's Santal 26 candle which costs a pricey 75 bucks each. Since she likes her whole home to be scented with their signature gentle, smoky and leathery scent, she buys 50 of them each month. Apparently she's cut down from her previous orders from the company where she was ordering 100 candles at a time. Either way, at the amount she's buying now that costs JLo close to 4,000 bucks a month on candles. Next up at number 6 on our list has got to be JLo's dresses and outfits where she spares no expense. She loves designer gear like many celebs and for her 50th birthday she chose a custom golden Versace dress. Sources say a similar outfit from the brand goes for over 15k so this customized one was likely more. Not to mention she accessorized with diamond earrings worth $7,700 and a $4,300 diamond ring. This would have been a deal for JLo though considering she wore an outfit worth $82,000 on a date with A-Rod. If you're wondering how much a single outfit could cost that much, it's mostly thanks to her Birkin bag, which is valued at $70K. Then she had a $9,000 fur coat and Balmain boots worth $2,000. And one time in 2018, JLo also went to H&M with her daughter on a shopping trip and was rocking an outfit worth over $100K. It included another Birkin bag, a Vince coat, Alexander McQueen shoes, and accessories. Pretty crazy. All this talk about her outfits brings us to the number 5 way JLo spends her millions, her purses. We know she loves Birkin bags and owns some of the rarest editions. In fact, last year Miss Lopez showed up to the UFC gym for a workout with a literal collector's item. It's not like she had a workout bag, the woman was rocking a Himalaya Birkin made from crocodile from the Nile. Some even call this the holy grail of handbags. Sources say, this bag is dubbed rare and exceptional for the amount of skill and precision it takes to dye a crocodile hide white. So we know JLo owns multiple designer bags and is rarely spotted without one. Some of her Birkin bags cost between 70 k to over 100 k but I'm not sure if you're ready for the price tag on this one. Her Himalaya Birkin bag costs an estimated 300 k or likely more. I think by hearing this you could just imagine the price of JLo's entire purse collection. Moving on to number 4, JLo also likes to spend her fortune on making memories, aka luxury vacations. We know that when her and A-Rod choose to unwind, they do it in a big way. She goes on plenty plenty of trips when she's not busy working, and her and A-Rod splurged in the past to a romantic getaway to France. The couple shared plenty of photos on social media of this vacation and even let the paparazzi get some pics. First, JLo and A-Rod went to Paris, the city of love, as well as Louvre and some other areas close by. This was their first big trip together so they went all out, and then they saw the south of France. JLo rented an entire yacht for 350 k which the couple took to Monaco, Nice, Antibes, Saint Tropez and more. The number 3 insane way Jennifer spends her money is on her staff. We know that JLo is dedicated to her fitness and health to say the least and of course she gets some extra help in that department. She has a personal chef available to prepare her meals and travel the world with her too, which is a luxury very few can afford. She hired Ron Gellish and although we don't know his exact rates, he's a chef who used to have a restaurant in New York so I highly doubt he's cheap to have around. He's very discreet and doesn't give details about what it's like to work with JLo even in interviews, but she does follow a strict diet and he keeps her on a meal plan. To go along with her personal chef and to keep her fantastic body, JLo also has not one, but two personal trainers. We know Jennifer likes to do a variety of activities to keep herself in shape, so she probably uses two trainers as a way to never get bored. One of her trainers is Tracy Anderson, a fitness entrepreneur and an A-list trainer with a few celebrity clients. She said about JLo's training, she gives so much and she's not one of those performers who think they're just entitled to a good body and is jumping for all kinds of quick fixes. She's very aware of finding her own formula and what works for her along the way. We're getting close to the end of our list and number 2 on our list is JLo's jewelry. Some of her most expensive pieces were gifts of course but I think it still counts. We know that JLo's everyday outfits even when she's going to the airport include diamond pieces worth thousands of dollars, anything from earrings to bracelets. Back when JLo was still with her baby baby daddy Mark Anthony, he gifted her a $2.8 million yellow canary diamond ring after the birth of their twins. And if you think that's expensive, her man A-Rod one-upped him with his engagement ring. In 2019, A-Rod proposed to JLo with a massive emerald cut diamond, estimated to be between 10 to 15 carats, with a price tag of as much as 5 million. Now that's insane. She also rocks a ton of jewelry for award shows as well. For example, one time at the Grammys, JLo had $5 million worth of jewelry from Norman Silverman on, including a diamond bracelet and rings. 
Finally, we're at the end of this list. The number one insane way that JLo spends her $400 million is definitely her properties. Since the start of her career, Miss Lopez has been buying mansions all across the US from Miami to Los Angeles. We actually did a house tour on JLo like I mentioned, so if you want to see her homes in more detail, definitely check that out. Currently, she owns multiple homes. JLo and A-Rod purchased a three-story Malibu beach house last year for $6.6 .6 million with 50 feet of beachfront, which they love using for a family getaway. JLo also keeps a mansion in the Hamptons, which in the past she said is her favorite property of all and her dream home. This one set her back 17 million, but then again, it is 14,000 square feet. Finally, her main family estate and my personal fave is located in the classy Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. This house has seven beds, 13 baths, a jungle like garden, and more, spread over 2.3 acres of land. Not to mention, JLo's Bel Air property has two guest cottages, an amphitheater, multiple pools, and a lagoon. She invested around 20 million on this place, so it's no wonder all of her mansions are number one on this list. So there you have it, the top 10 ways that Jennifer Lopez spends her $400 million. With that kind of net worth, I'm not surprised she spares no expenses. I didn't even include the money she probably spends on her kids and traveling via private jet, which she often does. JLo lives a total life of luxury, especially when you compare it to her humble beginnings in the Bronx. But at least she's smart and puts most of her millions into real estate. I want to hear from you guys. What was your favorite thing that JLo spends her fortune on? Was there anything big that I left out? I gotta say, I really love JLo's mansions, especially her Bel Air family home. It's so unique. Not to mention her custom Jeep Wrangler and that vintage Ford Bronco she gifted A-Rod. He's certainly a lucky man. Let me know what other celeb lists you'd like to see, and if you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!